thank you guys all for uh, coming on a third day in Odu and listening to me online and offline all presence. Thank you guys. Uh, today I'm trying to cover one of the customer case study which we are very proud of. Uh, the customer is MBT Shoes and what we have done is a Udu implementation for multi-country, multi-currency, multi-company implementation with multi-warehouse. Uh, housekeeping things first, so like you know, this is just our pod that if you guys have any questions, please scan this and ask the questions and at the end of the session I'm happy to answer that. A uh, little bit about us, I mean, we are a brain wire. Uh, we focus on digital transformation, one of the leading partners with Udu worldwide. So we are partner in US, Canada, Dubai, Saudi, Singapore. Uh, 1800 Brain has worked for us. Uh, it's a global company. We have a premium partnership with Udu. Apart from Udu, we do Adobe Commerce, Magento, Shopify, Big Commerce. We are cloud partner with Amazon and AWS from a cloud migration point of view. And then we have a partnership with Salesforce from a custom Heroku platform development point of view. Brainwire as a company, we focus on uh, digital transformation and helping brands of tomorrow that how you can get into the digital journey in terms of like, you know, process, product, customization, implementation. We have been award winning in Deloitte Fastest 500. We are in clutch top, to, top 200 from a custom reviews point of view. Very recent in terms of Silicon Valley Business Journal Award. So these are some of our award and accreditation that we have. Little bit about our Udu practice. 350 Udu team members of Brainers work for us. 180 are certified developers. Close to 250 Udu implementation we have done. 80 plus custom third party integration we have done where we are integrating Udu with all third party system. Either we are sending data to the outside or we are bringing data from the outside system within the Udu system. Little bit about me. I'm the CEO and founder of the company, started my entrepreneurship journey around 22 years back, sold a couple of companies. This is my third venture, Brainwire. We started around nine years back and we grew to around 1800 people with 11 countries. Uh, overall, 20, 13 years in the ERP business and associated with Udu in some or other way. Little bit about MBT Shoes from a customer point of view, just to give you the background. So they are headquartered based out of Singapore and their operation is in Malaysia, Singapore. Manufacturing is mostly out of China. They are in Europe, five countries, US, Australia, and that's the global presence are. They are in B2B and B2C. In certain countries, they have a physical stores. So like in Singapore, they have 23 physical retail stores. In Spain, they have a couple of them. In Malaysia, they have five stores and rest of the places they are online. So when I say online, either they are a B2B distribution model or a B2C direct to consumer. Uh, they are in physiological shoes. So they are in like, you know, top 10 or 12 brand in the worldwide. And what they provide is a uh, shoes, which gives you a, like, you know, when you have a leg issues and you have some swelling in the leg and you need a certain type of shoes, which can give you some comfort. So that's what they are known for as a brand, MBT shoes. And they operate under two brands, MBT Shoots and Trends 360. Uh, I mean, we have done a Udu po point of sale implementation and globally they have around 100 stores and that's where we have done the implementation for them. Uh, little bit about them is like, you know, they have an e-commerce platform which is running on Adobe Commerce, which is Magento and they have e-commerce operation in around 17 countries out of 40. So we have integrated all of those things with a Udu in the back end. And Udu is doing the warehousing, inventory, accounting, finance, point of sale, and order management solution for them. I mean, key agenda or the points that I'm trying to discuss today is a little bit about like, you know, the functional and technical challenges that they had before Udu implementation. The key features that we have pro implemented, kind of solution is what we have provided, and then kind of result that they got out of that. I mean, all standard stories that we are hearing. So they were using a Microsoft Navision, Zero, LS Retail from a point of sale point of view, QuickBook in certain countries. And like, you know, this was a disjointed system that were existed. Uh, major challenges was inventory visibility, how to make sure that like, you know, you integrate all those custom third party solutions and how to bring it everything together. So their commerce was always running on Adobe Commerce and they wanted to do omni-channel where they wanted to have online, offline inventory to be synced. If customer buy online, if you don't have on your distribution center, still if you have something available in your warehouse, I mean in your store, how you make sure that that get fulfilled. 
major challenges was that from the HR point of view or the accounting staff point of view, lot of that time was going into consolidation and Excel sheet, consolidating all the reports and dashboard because their headquarters is out of Singapore. So they were consolidating in Singapore for all the countries. Plus they had a localization for each and every country from the taxation point of view. Major issues in terms of the ERP efficiency that they were using LS Retail, now all of them doesn't communicate with each other, Zero in some places, QuickBook in some place, uh, Magento, so all of them were disjoined. In certain cases there were some connectors and plugin available, so certain data was integrated. Certain data was not integrated, so it was half and half solution and that's where the struggle was going on. A uh, lot of time was going into all the manual calculations, creating dashboards, reports, visibility and also one of the other challenge that they were coming up with the catalog management that they had a certain catalog which was specifically for certain countries and certain catalog which was global so as then when the new season and new catalogs comes in this shoes industry you wanted to make sure they get updated and typically that you have a every year your catalog change so you need a system where you're able to maintain your previous data but at the same time as the catalog change you want to maintain that and you want to have the visibility of the past data and the current data and any retailers, they were also going through all the challenges that, okay, you have a certain things which are out of stock, certain things which are overstock, which is like, you know, out of season, you want to get rid of those things. You sell it on marketplaces like eBay, Amazon, overstock, Shopee, Lazada, like, you know, depend upon the countries that you are operating and we have tried to integrate it with all of them. Now, like, you know, when we proposed Udu, so this was like, you know, two and a half, three years back, we started journey with them. Actually, the customer came to us for Adobe Magento integration, implementation, customization. And when we looked at that, we said that, okay, you're struggling with your backend and why don't we look at something? And that's where we started with the Udu from a concept point of view. Now, of course, it was a very big decision, so it was not going to happen overnight. So we run through with them for like three, three and a half months of cycle, gone through each and every department, making sure that Udu can be a good fitment for them how consolidation can work at a Singapore level from HQ point of view, how we can improve their, like, you know, the entire commission structure, what they are doing from the sales team point of view or the franchisee model of certain stores that they have, how to make sure that, like, you know, all the reports and dashboards can be integrated. You have a single point of view from your inventory point of view, from your accounting point of view and all your omni-channel point of view so that you can map everything. So what we have done for them was we mapped each and every their stores within the Udu stores for the inventory management. We had a central distribution warehouse, which we ma maintain. Also, they have a lot of movements within the company, within the country, or within the stores where they are moving the shoes and the inventory. So that also we have done streamlined with Udu point of sale and the store management solution. RMA was one of the big issue that a lot of time customer buy online and then they go to the store and return. So while we are doing, doing to do that, how you do the integration. So that's where we have done a very strong integration between Magento and Udu to make sure that you have a order come from Magento, but then you have pick up from the Udu store or you can have a return order management on the Udu as well. And then of course, like, you know, every company need advanced reporting and all. So three years back, we started journey with them. It took around a year for us to implement. So it was not an easy or a straightforward project. So it took really a long time to get it implemented for the one country. And once we get that set up, because it was a majorly a people management, change management, and also that like, you know, the ERP that you're implementing. But once we implemented that, it was very easy to roll out in different countries. And then we started doing. So we started with Singapore, which is HQ. Then we went to Malaysia. Then we went to Europe in Spain and then North America and US. Stock aging and inventory was very important for them and they were not able to get that report. But now with this Udu and Magento and the entire Omni channel integration, they were able to achieve that. Now, when you look at that very streamlined in terms of item master, which was one of the biggest challenge that every new season, the new shoes, new things are coming, how to make sure that you maintain the item master. So we try to do Udu as a PIM solution. Although Udu is not a great PIM, we customize Udu in such a way that it can work as a PIM where we do the product information management try to maintain the old stocks, old size, old patterns and the new one as well. Very strong po point of sale implementation where there are 23 stores in Singapore, four stores in Spain, around seven in Malaysia. They are using that from the things, <coughs> excuse me. And then we did an EDI integration. So there was a lot of EDI integration we have done because they are selling in a B2B in many market like US and all where the EDI integration was very important that you give your data and they are selling with a uh, 
DSW and your payless and kind of those type of uh, like you know that multi aggregator uh, MBO type of uh, shoes companies they are selling from that and then the sales analytics report since you are your all your data has been coming into a single Udo platform you able to migrate it out you able to do the analytics on top of that you able to do the entire sales analytics product in inventory aging all of those things we have done in a point of sale also we have done a lot of customization because we started with them in Udo 14 now of course with Udo 17 they came up with some of the great features but still this customer is on 14 right now and probably will migrate them to 16 but yes a lot of customization we have done on a point of sale point of view as well where the offers discount promotions coupons you can have a physical view of that and able to integrate it out easily with the point of sale and the e-commerce platform very strong in terms of omni-channel which was one of the key requirement or the key things that we wanted to achieve that how you can have a b2b which in certain countries they have b2c where they are doing selling online to the consumer and they have a physical store so how to make sure that all of those things are integrated and you have a single view of customer so be able to give them a view that where you can say that mr john he's a customer with you but he bought two times online couple of times he went to one of your physical store and bought it from there and you able to give them the entire dashboard and report out of that so that was something which was very important for them again they wanted a dynamic dashboard so they had a area manager managing like you know five stores and all so that the area manager is very important from their point of view they want to know how their stores and their area is doing compared to the other geography and they, they wanted to have a comparison between the different reports and dashboards what is the company standards against which what is our standards in our geography and then how we can improve on that so that was something that we have done uh, inventory automation integration of that and the reconciliation payment reconciliation or something which is very important that you have a lot of payment which comes to credit card physical cash collection and then you have all your discounts and offers and coupons and promotions that you're using how to make sure that you're able to consolidate and have a clear view of that in reconciliation was something very important and then as i was mentioning like point of sales uh, we have done some great enhancement in point of sale very seamless integration between adobe and udu is something that we have done uh, now of course like you know client is looking at udu commerce as well as udu commerce is progressing in their feature list and all say in certain countries where they have a very small operation in terms of online they are looking at udu commerce as well but yes right now they are using magento and udu and that's a seamless integration is what something we have done real-time inventory tracking warehouse management operation omni channel was something the key features that we have implemented and the key benefit that customer got out of the platform now tangible outcome when you look at it like you know 30 percent overall reduction in terms of their human resource and human intervention because there were so many staff which was physically doing everything in terms of the dashboard report inventory counting and all user satisfaction has increased in terms of their own team members employees and also from the customer point of view because once you have that omni channel it's a very different feeling and different things that you're able to do it uh, massively we able to adopt with the mobile users in terms of like you know that point uh, pwa progressive web app architecture that you're able to do that and now we are implementing for them is augmented reality feature as well where you put a camera in front of your leg it will show you how the shoes will look and then a little bit of sizing uh, parameters as well and then you're able to take the benefit of that and then share with friends and family and then ultimately go toward the purchase journey of that like overall like you know that major change save in terms of license cost as we all know like you know that what is the main advantage of Udu that Udu come up with like you know the great pricing great benefit in terms of the omni channel and the great benefit that Udu comes in terms of like you know pricing all in apps in a single price view so that's where like you know when they were using Navision LS retail like you know a point of sale on LS retail they're using like you know third party system for the inventory management and then they were using uh, zero so considering all of those things when you migrated into a single platform they see a huge benefit and they able to see that like you know in terms of saving the license cost as well which is an intangible benefit but it's a huge benefit which we get it out the inventory sinking is something which was very important for them because they had a lot of struggle that certain stores had certain stocks which are just aging and then certain stores where the stocks are moving once you have that visibility that each and every store people can communicate with each other easily able to move the inventory from one location to another location and we put all the checks and balances in place with the user roles and responsibility that what is 
what required approval, what can be done without approval and things like that from a stock movement and aging and stock movement point of view. Also very important was that stock, like you know when you talk about lifestyle product and shoes and things like that, uh, the debt stock is something which is very important that you need to have visibility and you need to get rid of that. And typically you use all the omni-channel things like marketplaces to get rid of those uh, debt stocks. So that is where like you know that like you know whether you're selling on Shopee or Lazada or you're selling on eBay, Amazon, Walmart, be able to give them that third party integration where you easily able to integrate with those platform able to sell the inventory there, able to adjust the pricing because price is very important that you need to keep modifying depend upon competitors, depend upon the volume, depend upon the, uh, the, the day of the week that you want to modify those marketplace pricing. So be able to do that and be able to get rid of that stock as well. Uh, case studies available on our uh, website and also on the Udu store. So you will be able to see that. And this is something that which you are very proud of. Apart from that, yes, I mean, we have some global brand where we have done uh, implementation of Udu in all different type of industry. Whether we talk about Udu in retail, Udu in healthcare, Udu in non-profit, or whether we talk about Udu in terms of education. So we have some great case studies where customers are selling just online. They are selling just on marketplace or their physical stores be able to integrate with all of them. And these are some of our case studies and all. Uh, if you have more questions, we are happy to answer at our booth. Like, you know, we are available on L1. And uh, if you want to see the demo of MBT shoes, what we have implemented, we are more than happy to show you that how we have done the entire omni-channel integration between the Adobe Commerce and Udo end-to-end -end platform. Uh, and then I will just keep it a floor open for questions that if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to know anything in detail, we are more than happy to answer. Yeah. yeah. I can hear you, maybe not the audience. Okay. Uh, hello, Chintan. Thank you for this presentation. Thank uh, you. Hello, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, joining uh, joining us on this uh, talk. Uh, actually, we have some uh, questions for you. Okay. Uh, the first question says, how many lines of code do they have and how did you overcome the lack of consolidation capabilities offered by Udo? Definitely. I mean, and this was Udo 14. So it's a way back, right? I mean, I'm sure that Udo has improved every year when you go into 15 and 16. And now with the 17 consolidation has gone to the next level. But that was not something that was available. So a lot of customization was done. As I mentioned in my presentation that it took around 12 months for the implementation. So of course, there was major consolidation customization that we have done. But what we have taken approach is that like, you know, first we have make sure that all the consolidation dashboard and report that we have got approved with a CFO and account and the finance team from the company to make sure that what they want to look at it from a country point of view, multi country point of view and from a geographical point of view. Once we got that approval, we try to do that. So a lot of custom code was done. If you ask me in terms of line of code, maybe I'm not the right guy to answer the line of code, but uh, just on the in terms of the Customization, it was around uh, 8 to 10 weeks of uh, customization efforts just went into the consolidation. So that was something which was a big piece and it was very important for them to make a selection. So in fact, during the first three months of pre-sales uh, pre where we wanted to convince them about the Udu, it was a major consolidation is something that was very important for them and they wanted to see that actually in action. So we did some proof of concept for them and yeah, I mean 8 to 10 weeks of effort might have gone into consolidation. Okay, amazing. Uh, the next question says, did the customer consider moving to business central being a NAV customer? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure like, you know, when we look at the ERP, everything was on the paper, right? I mean, they were talking about SAP, they were looking at SAP B1, they were looking at NetSuite, and they were looking at business central as well, right? And they, um, I mean, apart from that, they were also looking at a custom solution, like, you know, which are which is tailor made from a Singapore or the country in the Southeast Asia point of view as well. But again, it was all about like, you know, that kind of features that Udo offers and something that the e-commerce was running on Adobe Commerce and they were very firm that they are going to continue that in Magento. So they wanted something which can be integrated, which can be flexible, scalable. So that's where like, you know, that we were competing with all of them. But yes, I mean, with the Udo flexibility, open architecture, scalability, easy to integrate, easy to customize was something which was easily able to appeal to the customer and the price point. 
which was very important also one of the other thing that they were they were using ls retail and nav their major issue was that they had to depend on those partners which are certified with them for any small customization and sometimes those partners was not supportive so that's where with udu open architecture they liked it that okay we have a brain wire with whom we work but tomorrow if you don't want to work with the brain wire we can kick them out we can have a udu partner or udu developer and with the open architecture be able to customize it easily so that open architecture and ownership of the platform was something which was very important so i think kudos to udu that they provide this open architecture with a uh, ownership capability for the customers to own the platform is something which is very important and it for sure you did a great job implementing the solution uh, through udu um, another question says are those references using udu as a only erp solution or together with other erps uh, uh so can you repeat the question i mean i just like you know yeah uh, they said are those references using udu as a only erp solution or together with other erps no i mean so i think most of our references i mean if you talk about little bit about the references like you know most of them are using udu as the only erp solution except few so like you know Aj ajmal perfume which is like you know a 5 billion dollar corporation so they are using sap in the back end from a finance and account point of view but their 250 stores are running on a store management with ajmal perfume with uh, udu and we implemented it in 3 months rak ceramic is something where uh, they are like you know the biggest ceramic company in the world from rasal kema and the worldwide like you know if you go to the any restaurant or any washroom you will see the rak uh, accessories and tools available in that uh, washrooms and also in that case they are like a 15 billion dollar corporation so they are using sap in the back end but the entire order management solution is implemented on udu so couple of them we have where there is a sap or like you know uh, oracle on the back end they are using but apart from that all other references is completely udu that was migrated yeah okay perfect good to hear uh another question is what do you use inside uh, magento which business process so the entire order management solution and the e-commerce entire e-commerce solution was something on magento so like you know people come on the product look at the product purchase the product the entire user journey of consumer of b2c and b2b buying was something that was done with uh, magento just from a consumer point of view so like you know all the e-commerce features like you know buying online offers discount promotions coupons all the standard e-commerce features that you have on that yeah and okay. they have a multi store architecture in that magento as well so they are having a uh, au.mbt.com for australia us.mbt.com for us uh, mbt.com for the global which is based out of singapore malaysia is from my. yeah okay perfect uh, another question is do you think they will move totally to udo e-commerce uh, day one day what's our new major obstacle yeah i mean so that's the goal right we want to make sure that they move to the <laughs> udo commerce at some point of time but it's a journey right i mean they are using adobe and magento commerce for last 5 6 7 years so i mean e-commerce is something which is revenue generation so typically when you want to move to the customer it's not easy so that's why we took a route that okay wherever there are small countries and uh, small operation in certain countries so we have started with them with the udo commerce just from a poc point of view and if that proof of concept work well idea is to move them to the udu commerce because one they will save on the license cost second that they will save on all the third party integration that they are doing it out yeah so that's a goal but i think it's going to be the journey we'll start with the countries where there is a small operation online and then slowly we'll see that how that goes from there perfect uh there's only two questions left no uh, the first one says how to integrate all udu loyalty features to a third part pos and magento sure so we have used udu pos so it was easy for us to integrate the udu loyalty with the udu point of sale that was not something which was difficult between the magento and udu there is a challenge because magento has their own loyalty management solution and the discount and solution and uh, udu has their own system as well question comes is all about like you know which will be the parent and which will be the child and now both of them are open source so you able able to easily customize it out right so in this case like you know what we do is that we said that udu be, because udu has a store solution and udu has a erp as well with order management let's use the udu loyalty management features and we try to map that with magento so what we have done we have like you know stop magento loyalty features and we did a api integration with udu loyalty so that all the udu loyalty features comes to magento whatever they want to offer online yeah that was very clear uh 
Another question, and the last but not least, can you disclose the price of the implementation? I mean, it's a confidential information, but uh, it generally run in a, uh, uh, the first phase was something was a quarter million dollar where we implemented, which was around a year, year and a half of implementation. And then like, you know, last uh, one, one and a half year is support and maintenance. So that's where like, you know, support maintenance plus we are starting every new country in uh, every two quarters or one quarter, depend upon the how quickly they are ready to migrate and all. So overall, like, you know, they have spent, might have spent around like, you know, in terms of uh, 400k to 500k in last three years but still like you know they might have saved at least 500k considering what they were spending while they were using navision ls retail zero consolidation with a manual team and with uh, like you know magento with a separate team so one thing that brainwire offers is like you know that uh, entire digital transformation that you don't need to depend upon two teams so we have a strong presence in commerce journey we have a strong presence in uh, udu and we able to give them a one solution one team which can able to do the magento implementation udu integration and also like you know the mobile app so now they want to do the mobile app with augmented reality so they don't need to look for different partner brainwire as a one company we able to support that we able to migrate that and we able to integrate that easily Actually, we have another question. They are following by saying, how long will be the upgrade process? Um, upgrade, like, you know, that I think we are planning to do 16, uh, 17. Uh, typically, it should be around uh, two and a half, three months for upgrade. Uh, typically, we have to do country by country. So definitely, it's going to be assuming that, like, you know, three months is something that we are expecting. Uh, we have not yet started uh, discussing on that. Uh, customers ask us that go to the Udu conference, look at 17, look at the feature list, prepare a business case that why we should migrate to 17, what are the features, what are the advantages, how we are going to get it. So I'm sure with the uh, speed, performance, new user interface and all of those things, it should be very easy to like, you know, make them like, you know, convince that Udu is the right way, upgrading is the right way to do it. I'm expecting it should be two and a half, three months. We have start, we have used standard features with a little bit of customization step by step. And whatever customization we have done, we have also done with thought process in mind that it should be easy to uh, upgrade. So that is something that we, so yeah, two and a half, three months is what we are expecting. Okay. Including the Udu time of database migration as well. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I guess uh, that was it for, for the question. Thank you so much uh, for your time, Shinsan. Thank you guys all for coming and thank you for watching online. Uh, I hope you guys had a good three days and uh, enjoy the evening in Belgium and have a good weekend. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.